and they sent on their journey from the 2000 metre marker. Whispering Wave, Golden Duck is right there, Northwest Passage, and Q for You is going to move around them. At this point in time, Mallow's four lengths off, Ruby Co. Song of Ice is bottled up towards the inside, five and a half lengths off the tempo. Star Choice around them, Whispering Wave, Love of All Things is under an early drive towards the back end of the field, and Emerald Isla just ahead of her. So Q for you and Gareth Wright taken the bull by the horns and gone to spearhead this field the length and a tail. Northwest Passage is racing along in second. The Song of Ice to the inside. On the right hand side, Golden Duck has the shadow roll in fourth. Four lengths off them. Mallow's hard held in fifth. Ruby Cove is in sixth position. Koala's in seventh. Star Choice is in eighth spot. Whispering Wave is ninth, Emerald Isle is on the outside, and towards the inside, Love of All Things continues to just be niggled at as they come to the nine peg. Q for you, steering the ship a length and a quarter, Northwest Passage, Golden Duck's just right there in a striking position in the yellow, but Q for you says, catch me if you can at the 700, and Gareth Wright gives her more rain, and she's opened up by four lengths, Q for you. Golden Duck now gets a niggle or two in second, North Northwest Passage, Ruby Cove, Song of Ice towards the inside, Mallow's got about seven lengths to make up, Homeward Bound and Q for you with a healthy three length advantage, if she's good enough she'll win from there, still under the bridle, Golden Duck's a clear second at this stage, the whip comes out on her, down the inside Q for you drifting towards the inside, Golden Duck's trying to get closer, two lengths to make up, Q for you 150 to go, love of all things is running on late, Golden Duck. Q for you, how much left in the tank the last hundred? Love of all things is exploding through, but just too late. Q for you stole it. Love of all things, Golden Duck. Koala, and then came Ruby Cove in photos for the minor positions. Well, how's that run from Love of All Things? That was the horse that was examined at the start, was a long way back being pushed through, but you've got to give full credit to Gareth Wright on cue for you. He let her sprint from the thousand, and she tore away from them, and that's what won the race. So jockey ship wins this race. Gareth Wright and Q for you for the Nels, the Platners, La Plassant Stud, Byron Foster. Love of all things came from a hopeless position to get up second, and Golden Duck had every opportunity. There's no excuses there. Golden Duck got the wake, the shake, got well warmed up at the start and came under the drive early. Look at Love of All Things. Was 10, 11 lengths off them and makes up the ground, but Q for you had just enough left in the tank. Coming to the 400, she went well clear and Love of All Things, another stride or two, things change, but the post comes in time. Q for you. Back to the studio. Three, two, one, and Q is what I'm told by the producer, and Q for you has got it won. The filly by Karari, bang, in the winner's enclosure. But before we go any further, Manola, or Mandla, the gentleman's name is Mandla, who looks after Q for you. Well done, Mandla. A thousand rand for you on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Enjoy the money. Well done. Okay, let's get Gareth Wright into the uh, winner's enclosure. Well, even if, you, if, even if you'd got beaten, uh, you know, it's, it could still be a good ride because you, you went off to the front, you had your horse nice and relaxed, ears pricked, travelling nicely, but uh, she was wanting the line at last bit. Yes, not necessarily stopping, but just she's a one pace kind of horse, so we bounced and the other horse had a little more speed, he started to take a sit, and as she took the bit on, I said, I'd rather have you relaxed and galloping what I've learned from her before, and as discussed with Byron at home and that uh, I sat on her following horses and we didn't really find much after that. So I know she's going to keep galloping and in this caliber of field, if I can get away, as you saw, we just, we, we kept going. So just uh, well done to Byron and his team here in Chelsea, Lance and Mrs. Platner and Andre Nell. Thank you for the opportunity. Gareth, the rest of your rides, you, you seem to, you haven't got too many left, but they, they seem to have chances. Yes, they, they're all pretty much in the same league. I've got 
it was for uh, Mrs. Clayton the next. Um, I've, season, I've been a bridesmaid with him in the maidens quite a few times. And uh, I get the chance again today. And he's, he's a type he'll run well against probably any company. You know, it just depends on him on the day too. So I think he's in there with a little chance. I've got Lady Legend on her day. She's quite capable as well. Deep draw, but she's quite quick. And I've got Bordeaux, which he's coming, coming to hand nicely. He's in a good space. We just need a bit of luck. And I think uh, if we find ourselves back here, it won't be a surprise. Well, well done. Good ride and front running tactics paid off. Congratulations. Yes, thank you very much. Lovely. Lovely. Gareth Wright, let's talk to Chelsea. You might have, uh, well, naturally, like all of us, a little disappointing that maybe you never won the previous race, but that's the past. That's the past. You've uh, bounced back with a win here with Q for you. Lovely filly. She's won well. Congratulations. Thanks, Warren. Yeah, she's a, she's a difficult filly in the sense that she's very much one paced, as Gareth said. Um, but I'm glad that she committed and Gareth committed and she went to the front and she, she pulled him through. So it was a brilliant ride from Gareth. And I just want to say a big thank you and well done to him and well done to Andre Byron and especially Mrs. Platner, well done. We interviewed Byron during the week and, and, and he mentioned that Gareth has built up a nice relationship with this filly because she can be difficult, she can be a difficult ride and uh, it paid off today because he clearly knows her well now. Yes, no, definitely. Gareth has put in a lot of work with her as well as Lance um, and I'm glad it's all finally paid off. You know, she's held her form well and today was clearly her day. Well, well you just had the two runners so far, a second and a winner. Well done. Let's yeah. hope uh, the day gets even better. Thanks, Warren. Lovely. <laughs> Chelsea is the uh, assistant to the whole team out there at uh, Futura Farm. Cue for you. Got it all won under a sterling ride from young Gareth Wright. <laughs> Thank you.